What is up 1320 fans? We are here on day five of Rocky Mountain Race Week. We are starting in Bandemir and we are going all the way to Kearney, Nebraska. It's a drive day, so all I have to do is drive, but it's 460 miles, three checkpoints today. It's probably gonna be one of the most grueling drives they have all week. It looks like it's gonna be between 95 and 100 degrees, maybe even more all day. So we expect to see some carnage on the road. So we're gonna take you guys on the road trip, show you guys all the carnage and all the action right now. All right guys, before we get on the road, we're stopping here at Bandemir to check in our, on our boys, Blaine and Tom, to see how they're doing on the wagon. Morning, Blaine. Tom? Oh, nice. Nice. How we doing? Um, tired, but great. Tired, but great? Yeah. I like to hear it. How much sleep did you get? Two hours, maybe. Two hours? That's solid. On the floor? You can, you can, sleep, you can sleep in the wagon. What we got, Tom? Give us an update. What are we looking at? It runs. It runs? I drove it. You drove it. That's huge. It runs and I drove it. We switched it back over to street trim, right, bud? And now what? Oh, well, IAC is acting up, so I'm going to put my spare IAC in it, make sure there's nothing dirty in it. Is it melted number eight? Yeah. Like it melted. I don't know if you got any pictures of that or anything, but it's it's done. So don't know why it did that. We ain't found the culprit yet. Okay. So no sleep I don't know how much we're gonna be spraying it, but we're gonna finish, damn it. Yeah, hell yeah. It ain't near as rowdy as it was, but it'll get us there. It doesn't matter. This is freaking awesome. You guys freaking thrashed all night on this thing. We did thrash all night. We called it about 4.30 and decided it was about ready to fire and before we made a silly mistake let's get some rest right and uh, we got up about sunrise and it's funny none of us really said any words to each other we just kind of got back to work <laughs> <laughs> awesome awesome well I'm glad to see you guys have made it this far the car runs drives everything uh, hopefully we see you guys we will see you guys we will see you guys in car Stay up all night with them just to help them out. That's awesome, man. That's freaking awesome. Well, boys, we're gonna get on the road. We'll see you guys in Kearney tomorrow, all right? Yep. Later, boys. See you, yeah. fellas. Hell yeah, see, see you guys. guys. Safe travels, guys. They are literally the only ones on the property right now. The whole thing is completely empty except for them and the other race weaker that stayed up all freaking night to help them. So it is a very long drive today and a lot of heat. So it's 460 miles. We're going to get on the road, catch up with some other racers. Let's go. This right here is what race week is about. Stopping and helping out your fellow race weakers all freaking night so they can make it. See you boys. See ya. Bye guys. How you boys doing? Uh, could be better. Uh oh, what's going on? Forgot to turn the intercooler pump on after I flashed it last night. We ran 20 miles, went off, and it started spark knocking. I think it might hurt the blower. Oh no. What was your IATs? Yeah, Probably 300 plus. Jeez. What's the, what's we the thought we got bad E85 because it started to rattle. So we pulled over and we're going to throw some C85 in there, try to spike it. Then I opened the center console and the damn switch was down. <laughs> So what's the game plan from here? Just wait for it to cool down and see what's going Ooh, on? Well, yeah, it cooled down, the blower freed up. It's got a little noise to it. Um, we're running the intercooler pump, so it sounds okay now. It got a little knock to it when you rip it. Mm -hmm. Rotors are knocking, so I'm just gonna keep going until it stops, I guess, all I can do. I mean, I don't think it hurt the motor. The motor still sounds even, so. It, so it's just the blower that might have an issue? Mm -hmm. but that's kind of a big issue on these, huh? It is kind of a big issue on yeah. these. Well. Especially we as much as we've been struggling at altitude with this thing. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure. So, well, you guys got another 400 miles. <laughs> and then you got to go, and then you got to make it back to Great Bend. Yeah, hopefully. The worst case is maybe we can get Whipple. I can get uh, Nick to send me an overnight me a blower. We can swap one over. So. Yeah, if yeah, if you the sooner you can figure that out, I mean, you mm -hmm. got all day today and then all the way till 10 o'clock tomorrow to get to get something. So Yeah, we're going to try to baby it out of the mountains and kind of go from there. We're going to try to probably stop 100, 150 miles out, change the oil in the car, and gotcha. probably change the oil in the blower now, too. But. Good call. Well, good luck to you boys. Appreciate We're going to get back on the road. See you guys in Kearney, hopefully. Mm -hmm. This heat and the mountains is just brutal on these cars. All I did was not switch on the water to air intercooler and the blower might be bad. It's crazy. Fellas, how's the mountains treating you today? We're still here. We're still doing it. I got a uh, 
washer out of the junkyard out of a Bronco when we rigged it out. When we first got into the hills, the temperature just kept climbing and climbing. So, what trying. are you guys pulled over for? Um, just just to let it take a break. You can check this out. We put the yeah. Let me see. Let me see how you guys rigged up the. Uh... Oh, it's it's class, dude. It's out of a uh, F-150 from the junkyard before I left. Okay. And we got the lines routed, and I put it on the panel. And it just goes to the radiator and sprays it. Yeah. So the I've seen we've seen this done before. You know, I, I stole it from Boosted Boys. I got to give you guys credit. There you so. go, Boosted Boys. You guys, Boys. Boosted Boys, because they were they were uh, pulling over and getting water out of the creek, and I'm like, oh, that's such a good idea. And I was out of time and behind on this car, and I had a morning where I'm like, I've got a window. I'm gonna go to the junkyard and get one just in case. Yep. And then uh, a buddy of mine's like, oh, dude, you don't need that. Just make sure the car works. And I'm like, I'll just take it. If I take it, yeah, I yeah. need it, I got it. Here we are, man. That, that thing saved me. So I can actually hit the button and the temperatures go down while we're climbing. So it works amazing. How much does it go down when you hit it? Um, I have to hit it and hold it. But after it's heat soaked, I mean, it'll start clicking down. I mean, it's it's pretty efficient. Nice. My radiator said it was pretty good. It's just the intercooler is just blocking the flow. Gotcha. gotcha. And then my transcooler's under the car, so I want to get a bigger one. But I'm gonna rig this up next year permanent, and then I'll have it shooting the transcooler and the and the radiator. Gotcha. Yeah. So that that thing's a lifesaver. So. Well, hopefully uh, that stays good the rest of the day. You can keep it topped off because this yeah. is just this is gonna be the most brutal drive you guys do. Yeah. Well, uh, get her cooled down. We'll see, we'll see you in uh, Carney, man. Looking forward to it. Oh yeah. How are you guys doing over here? We're good. We're just letting it cool down. Cool. Pulling those hills isn't fun. No, absolutely not. So, the transmission gets hotter than the engine, and I don't, I don't need that going. Oh, yeah. We'll see you guys in Carney. All right, buddy. Shout out to the Boosted Boys with the uh, with the sprayer sprayer mod from last year. That's where we got the idea from, so that's pretty cool. Taking over from Matt. This is my first time appearing this week on the, the channel, I think, filming. And there's one reason. That's because... Look who we found. We've seen him fly by a few times. I've never had a chance to catch up with him. You ready? Yeah. All right. In order to get the full experience, you need the cool shirt on. Let me try it at the track. I'm definitely buying. Definitely buying one of these. Testies, testies. Testicles, testicles. Yeah. Here we go. Fire up. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Looks like the Mustang with the blower issues is here. And I think I see the hearse too. Good so far? So far so good. All right. It's a beautiful day today. I would agree. Is everything going fine? Are you good? Good? Well, good? Not really. Uh-oh. What we got? My horn fell off. Your horn? Yeah. I don't know if you're going to be able to make it. Might have to withdraw. I don't think I'm DOT compliant now. <laughs> No more. I just yell, hey, move out. Oh. <laughs> Flip the throttle. Oh. You, pa you passed today. out yet today? A few times. A few times? Yeah. Yes. Charity really. This thing is packed full. Jeez. Yes. Well, actually, it's not. It just appears that way. Oh. All right. Just the bars. Okay. We're just trying to keep the weight ahead of the rear axle. Gotcha. Gotcha. But. Yeah, she already relinquished navigation duties because she knew she was going to find out. 
Let me get that for you, Jordan. There you go. Thank you, sir. I didn't know that door swung out so wide, actually. That was weird. How are you doing back there? It's not overheating or anything? You getting hungry? Nice and cool. I am kind of hungry. I did I did have to turn my, my air condition seat off. Okay. It was getting a little cold in there. So. With the Do you have an extra? What's that? Do you have an extra? AC seat? Yeah. I, not with me. <laughs> nah, nah, I didn't, nah, I didn't bring an extra yeah, one of those. <laughs> See you guys. Good luck. Good people on the side of the road and they had chairs out and lounging so I'm guessing they're trying to be here a while so we're gonna figure out why. What's up guys? Hello! Just hanging out. This is what's up. What's going on? This guy right here. Watch parts. Orange crush over here. Man, I tell you what, he's killing us. <laughs> <laughs> we're never gonna get there. Literally. What's going on? What's going on with the car? Broke a rocker. Broke a rocker? Did yeah. you bring extras? No. Come Who on. Who needs extras? <laughs> he does right now. <laughs> Who breaks those? And everyone here has LS, so they won't can't help us. Was it a small block? Yeah. yeah. You got to upgrade, bro. Scorpion <laughs> shot. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We've been thinking about that as 150 of them passed by. 50 miles ago, we took washers and a grinder, and we grinded them down. OK. The thickness, the diameter, everything, and made it work to get us another 50 miles. But you're all out of washers? We're way out of luck. So now we're those. waiting on Carlos is bringing us a rocker off Jacob's big block truck, and we're going to try to is that going to work? Drill and tap this one to the bigger diameter. Okay. To make it at least get us there. We've got one at the track. For the moment. Gotcha. So. Or. I'm going to kick him in the vagina and turn it into a sack so he'll just drive it on seven cylinders the rest of the way. That's what I would do. Either way, something's happening. <laughs> Having this guy in the group is really not a help because, like, he just packed ice on his car last year to get it there. He doesn't care. He just, I know. He just sends it. Well. Oh, you'll see us the next track one way or another. All right. We'll be there. Well, good luck to you guys. Hopefully the rocker works out. Right. Good luck to you guys. See ya. See ya. I need to see what we're going on here. So I, I, I grind it washers to put down in there, but it's, it, it's just, there's no adjustments. It ripped the threads out. Gotcha. So Carlos thinks he's got one that's larger. He could tap it. He's not going to. That's a big hole. So. Probably just run on seven cylinders, that's more than right. likely. Yeah. Gotcha. Just, just waiting, just waiting to make sure that's not going to work, and then you're going to run. He's nervous. On seven. Well, that's fair. He's probably never done it, so. I've done it a million times. You've done a lot of weird. <laughs> stuff. <laughs> One thing about the 301 team is uh, they don't give up. They literally will not give up. Whether it's like going to cost them thousands of dollars or a bunch of time or anything, it does not matter. They try everything they can to make it. Every year, one of them always breaks down in a big way, but they always seem to power through it. The damn store. Woody, where are we at? You see that damn store over there? We're going to the damn store. I want to go in that damn store. I want to go in that damn store too. We have made it to checkpoint two of the day out of three. Uh, a couple racers here. There's Clint. Hey, Clint. How's it going? Good. good. That quarter party was nice. How's the drive been? For, how's the drive been for you so it's been far good. today? It's been good. It's been good. And you know what? I, I got my hood off, and because I was seeing some high temperatures, but I was talking to James Tall, and, and that uh, pressure sensor that I have on my coolant might not be calibrated right. Really? So it's actually indicating possible higher temps than what I'm actually getting. Oh. Yeah. So. Uh, I'll check, and then Doug and them will probably have another one in the trailer. Well, we're going right, to check in with some more guys. Yeah. Enjoy. Good luck to you for the rest of the drive. We'll see you in Kearney, man. So it looks like this mint green Nova drove past it and did not get a picture. Either that or they got here and didn't take a picture. 
So the passenger's got out, snapped quick picture. He's gonna get back on the road, heading back that way. If you don't take a picture at every checkpoint, it doesn't count. So either they missed it or they forgot to take a picture. Either way, they came back and took their picture. It's what you're supposed to do. Said he's over two. He missed both checkpoints. Had to turn around for both of them and take a picture. Hopefully, the third one's a little more obvious. Hi, right, Christian. <laughs> Jack said Jimmy is here with his blazer. Apparently, it's still running. How's it going? Oh, it's going. How's the uh, how's the old blazer treating you today? Start of the day, run a little hot. Got it under control. Gotcha. Got his eyes the hood trip. Oh. How many, how many times do you have to do that? So far, one time, three bags. That's not bad. Yeah, I think I still may have some ice left. That's not bad. Yes. Other than that, no troubles? No. It's good, it's good. No, it's good, it's good ribbon. Well, get your picture. There's a lot of knickknacks and things, and there's probably a lot of things with James on them. Yeah. There's one of those shops where you can buy like everything with your name on it. Oh, it's a lot of I things in there. I have my dashboard. There you go. See you boys later. See ya. Hey. Hey. Sorry to hear about the Mustang, man. What happens? What happened exactly? Cam bearings and, or, a, or a lifter, one of the two. Gotcha. So, gotcha. it's done. That's clank, clank, you know. Were you at the track when it happened, when you realized it? Yeah, so we were literally packing up to leave, and I got in the car to start it. Tink, 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 which is completely weird, because after the pass, it was fine. Yeah. I let it idle for a while, topped off the coolant, and then it started knocking. So, we immediately pulled the oil pan, Dropped the K-member and everything like that. Got it out, there was nothing. The oil was bad. It is completely a maintenance fault on me. Gotcha. Yeah, it gotcha. really is. I mean, who knows? I mean, we were pushing the car pretty hard, harder than I had ever pushed it. And so I think it's a combination of everything. Running at high RPM, high speeds on the street, you know, trying to keep up with people, lack of maintenance, and you know, doing an oil change, and it just caught up to us. Well, also, this is it. You just started doing this race car stuff too. I did. Like you just started. I doing really it. did. I so, really did. The fact that you came out here and you did a 922 first time out with the car, and also going to different tracks, I was impressed. I know. We actually picked up speed at Banamir. So. Yeah. Which is weird because nobody does that. I know it. Yeah. I know it. So you, I was, you, you and Cletus, both of you guys picked up. We did. Yeah. We did. Yeah. So maybe it's just in our blood. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Does Chet got you in the Range Rover now from now on? Yeah, the Strange Rover. Oh, I'm sorry, the Strange Rover. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, so it's good. We're having fun. We're out here to support Garrett and Brent, and they're going to do well. They always do well. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, sorry about the must. I'm glad you got it a happens. whip for the rest of the week. Yeah, we're good. We'll see you, Carney. Sounds good. Best store by a damn sight. I don't know how many stores are by damn sites. I want to know who's like, who said this was the best one. I'm not saying it's not. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying I want to see the other one. Hey, the trucks made it. Hell yeah! It's like three guys with regular cab short box F-150s, and they all look really good. How's it going? Nice drive, man. Beautiful drive. So did you all just get together one day and say, let's all buy short bed, regular cab pickups? Uh, actually, we just met these guys. We really? met these guys on uh, in Great Bed. Really? Like, so now you guys are buddies. Absolutely. So now you guys got have to cruise together. Yeah, absolutely. How's the drive been for you guys today so far? Smooth, beautiful. The AC work in this thing? Absolutely. Oh, nice. Absolutely. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's uh, why I like, we've been watching other people with like, you know, windows, or hit arms out the windows. I'm like, man. We got it spoiled. Yeah, they dropped by kind of a mean face, like, <laughs> uh. So, AC, XM, navigation. Not all, bad, all not yards. bad, not bad. Not bad. Let's talk to the mullet What's here. What's going on, Fred? How's it going, buddy? Oh, good. How's the cruise for you guys over man, there? Man, it's so badass. Pulling the trailer, man, it's so badass. It's cool that you guys cruise together, because it's like, Three like race. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We were talking earlier about maybe wrapping this truck red next year. So red, white, and blue. Red, oh, white, I like it. I like it. <laughs> Bring it back on the road. See you, boys. All right, Take it easy. Red See you. All right, checked in with some folks here at the second checkpoint of the day. We still have like 300, 350 miles to go, so we're going to get back on the road, check with some more guys, see some more carnage on the road. We'll take you some more action here in a second. Yeah, no 
kidding. Yeah, he was camping behind us for a while. I was like, just go around. Just yeah. go around. I didn't know if you were back there. Oh, yeah. It's nice. I think you need it more than I do. It's 102 right now. 102? 102 out. Check out all the cotton. That's probably another cooling time. This is a great look for you, man. I know. Look you. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. How's your air temps right now? Air temps. Uh, the sensor has died. The sensor died. Yeah. Is that it? It just oh. gave, it just gave up. It's like screw this. Yeah. I'm out. Somewhat over 300. Oh jeez. How's the hearse doing in this 102 degree weather? Why are you gonna go and put numbers out like? I'm that? just saying it's 102. That's that's just what the dash tells me. I actually had to turn off my air conditioned seat earlier. It's getting pretty cold. And <laughs> First world problem. <laughs> yeah, take a step back. <laughs> Man, we got into like a little mini tornado there coming out of. The Royce camp. was just—he just picked like a whole cotton shirt off of his off of his radiator right there. <laughs> How was your nap? Hot. <laughs> back sweat. <laughs> That's the perfect shirt for you. Perfect shirt for you. I got another one in my bust out. Where did you get? Did you pack it? Uh, I think we have it for Great Bend. I think it's at the trailer. If I got it, I'll bust out another one. Deal. Deal. So this all started actually because of you guys. Really? The first video that you put out in 19, mm -hmm. one of the comments that we got on the 1320 video was this guy and his shirt game. Mm -hmm. So now it was like, game on, I gotta get him good shirts for every year. Oh. So he just, get, he just gets word shirts for from now till the end of time? For Father's Day, Christmas. Oh, rolling out. See you guys. See Your bonnet game is on point, my dude. <laughs> there was a cop behind us for like five miles. We decided we didn't want him behind us the entire way, so we pulled off. We pulled off for a little bit. Well, we heated up, they pulled off for a little bit. Now we're getting back on the road. Shirt you got on right now. Dude, these are the new summer of boost shirts. Boom. The back looks those nice. Turbo, colors. turbo. I you like it. You cannot hate those colors. Go ahead and check out these shirts, man. These things are dope. Can we put the good stuff in here? Yeah, 91 finally. spoiling it. Dang. Oh, no, we had to put 85 in last time. How big's the cell on this? 15, I think. And how many miles is that good for in this? Not even 100. Not even 100. At least you get it's out so of hot and we're having to add so much fuel to it. Yeah. It's just using fuel like a big car. At least you get out of the car and stretch your legs a bit, right? Right. You get you get the the sweat on your back a little drier yeah. and then you get it back. Yeah, exactly. Nothing like seeing some crazy race cars at a gas pump. All the locals are just breaking their necks and stopping and asking questions. All right, this thing's got to have like an 82 gallon cell in it or something. No. It's like 18. Really? Yeah. This is actually the first time I've put it on gas. Oh, it was on E85 before. Right. Gotcha. And it's getting like... 16? Yeah. With the trailer. Yeah. So this is Julesburg. Why are we in Julesburg? I wonder why we're here. We just happened to stop at a drag strip or what? Yeah, it just happened to be on the way, so we thought we'd swing in and say hey to these guys. Gotcha. The car's, the fuel's pretty hot. We're losing fuel pressure. That's I kept hearing you, I, have, I kept hearing you, they were, sh was the car shutting off or were you shutting it off? It kept dying. Gotcha. So we'll get the fuel cooled off and we might top off with some fuel that we have. To try to put some cold fuel in the tank and take a breather for a second. That's fair. So apparently Julesburg Dragway, is it Julesburg Dragway? Julesburg Drag Strip? Julesburg Drag Strip. What? And Julesburg, Colorado is actually on the way. And we were actually at this strip a couple race weeks ago. This was one of the strips that we, that's what, that we went to. And uh, it was on the way. Royce happens to know the guys that, that work here, I guess. So we're gonna stop and say hi to some folks and uh, give them a chance to cool off because their fuel is uh, not doing great right now. Uh, what do we got? I'm gonna see. <laughs> I know how hot it is in our 
162. 162 degrees inside the cockpit of this thing? Yes. Royce, how you doing this, buddy? I don't know how Royce and Jordan are doing this right now. No idea. They, they just checked the temp inside your car. It's 162 degrees inside the, the Mustang. I it was hotter than that. Oh, sorry. 162 <laughs> isn't hot enough for you guys. That's crazy. 162? That's what it said, yeah. Did you check the temperature of the roll cage? I don't know what she was pointing it at, but okay. yeah. Did you check yeah. the temperature of the roll cage? Yeah. Yeah. And then there's all that radiant heat like, coming off the roll cage. It's terrible. I mean, I guarantee it's hotter now. The car your arms touching it. <laughs> Jeez. Well, that engine is like just mounted to the chassis, so the in, so the so the heat from the engine just goes straight through the chassis. So after like 45 minutes, that thing's just just as hot. So everything's heat soaked. That's bad. You guys found the porta cool real quick though. Yeah. <laughs> Very. Hey, Christian. This is how you know it's really really hot out. You see this? Yeah. Walk on that. No, you and Witty both did the same thing. Like, it's weird. Like I haven't done this when I was eight years old or something. Okay, but it's still cool when you're when you're freaking 23 or whatever, how old, how old you are. If you're dumb, yeah. Oldest gra drag strip, operating drag strip, or what year was this drag strip? How long has it been in operation? What's that? How long has it been in operation? Since 1958. 1958. Yep. Oldest running drag strip in the country. Yes. Nice. In, a, in its same location. Gotcha. Gotcha. There are some that have been running Great Bend and some of those, but this is still in the same spot. Gotcha. And it's still an active airport. The only one left in the country. That's pretty awesome. There's all, all the other race workers right there. Come on, stop by. Come on over. Come on over. Yeah! We got more guys coming. Good, bring them in. Looks like we got Jamie from PFI Speed up the front here. Jamie! What's up? What's up, buddy? How you doing? Good. This is the oldest active drag strip yeah. in the country. Yeah. And it happens to be on the way, which and is nice. And it happens to be in Colorado, too. Like, right. I love it. Right. We've got some really cool tracks here in Colorado. Absolutely. I'm, I'm happy living here with all these tracks. How's the drive been for you guys so far? Really good. We left early this morning, and then we were doing great. Our road weaker that's following us had some fuel pump problems in the sand rail. Gotcha. So we were on the side of the road for like three hours oh, getting geez. a pump. And Moving right along though. Hell yeah. We're almost in Nebraska. Yeah. And it close. was, uh, last we checked, it was 107 degrees out. Yeah, right now. we got texted at 109 earlier. Yeah. So. It's ridiculous. Yeah. You, you guys staying cool ish in Yeah, there? yeah. I mean, we have to run the heater sometimes, but. Just, just to keep the engine cool? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah the sure. Honda radiator is about this big. Yeah. So we put hood spacers on it yesterday. JDM mod. And then we took the cowl off because it actually gave it a big gap there right. to let it out. And it's been doing a lot better. Nice. Very so. nice. Very nice. Pretty happy with it. Well, glad you glad you guys are still on the road. Yeah, thanks, doing, man. doing just fine. Yeah. No. Just the road we are giving you issues. Yeah. Yeah. Darn it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Witty, tell me about the shirt you're wearing right here. Ooh, you mean the new Summer of Boost shirt? Is that what it is? This is a brand new release right here. We got them classic Summer of Boost colors with a new fresh design. Very, got the turbo here, Ooh. Summer of Boost. Oh, wait. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. What's up? I'm wearing the same shirt. Hey. Oh, hey. No, great we minds do. thinking. Hey. Hey, oh, get out of here. Oh, we just released these today. Go check it out. Link in description. Order yours right now. Look, if I put my feet together, yeah. it should make the champion sign. Really? <gasps> Yo! Yo! The dash said 107 earlier when we were trailing Royce. 107. 107. Yeah. Like yeah. All Jamie. All are you done? No. <laughs> Jamie said he got he got he uh he got text somebody somebody had it, the temp at 109 earlier when he was driving. Yeah, that, that's. I was honestly too cold the whole drive with the AC and the AC right? seats. Right. I had to turn my AC seat off. Well, we got well we. I was trying to crank it all like I got to do it for everybody that doesn't have it, you know. That's exact. It's in solidarity for everybody that doesn't have a AC seat. Right. I'm we, doing it for I'm doing it for all you guys, all you racers. You're really sacrificing here. Yeah. All right, Royce. We'll see you. In, we'll see you in Carney. We're gonna, we're gonna roll with the Honda boys over here. Good, good luck to you. See you. Stay cool. See you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Dollar General. Definitely. Oh, what the? You boys good? Oh, you want to see what we're doing? Yeah, I kind of because I, I saw you jump on your hood to slip to shut little, it. It's a little hot out. And this thing overheats with the AC on. Wait, it has AC? Yeah, and it blows ice cold. You're spoiled. But it overheats when you run it, so I've been icing it down. 
Yeah, I get about 70 to 80 miles out of six bags of ice, but I get to run the AC. That's not bad. Yeah, it's been working. I was wondering why why you were jumping on the hood to get it to shut. Yeah, you just got to give it some persuasion. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. A little trick at the trade. Took a little ice break, made a couple of... Uh, yeah, you missed the Mento bombs. bombs. Oh. For your just dollar store, you know. That's, that's fair. Bucks. I saw a dollar store, I saw it, I was like, this is the only place. I wouldn't expect anything less out of yeah. you guys right here. You go buy two gallons of water, flash cool it down, go get you four or five bags of ice. 90 mile an hour, the AC blowing ice cold. You ba you're basically giving everybody the, the tricks to, to race week right here. Yeah, I mean, that's it. Just don't be afraid to spend money on ice. There you go. All right. Fair. Ice is cheap. <laughs> Getting back on the road? Yep. All right. See you guys up there. Train. We're home, boys. So we just stopped and ate dinner, so it's a little darker out now, but we're just heading down the road a few miles. We're only like a mile or two away from the last and final checkpoint, and we just caught up with the, unfortunately caught up with the uh, Miami Blue Mustang on the road here on the side, so. How's it going? And we're doing all right. We're just running out of fuel. We got five gallons left, so hopefully that'll take us to where we can buy some more E. Right. Uh, we'll probably splash a little pump gas in, but. So you just stop to grab a jug out and yeah. top it off, gotcha. Yeah, we carried 30 gallons with us, and we used it all so far. Jeez. <laughs> it's a long drive. I don't know how far we've gone so far. Probably 350 miles or so. Something like that. We're close. Yeah, we're close. And the next checkpoint, I think, is just right down the road a piece. Yeah, we were going to try and make it, but fuel pressure started to drop. So that's fair. Pull over, put some that's fuel fair. In it. Yeah, good call. Well, yeah, I think we got a little ways to go still yet, like another 100 miles or something mm -hmm. to Kearney. So yep. It'll be a long night, but we're making it. All right. We've got a shop to go to tomorrow morning. Uh, Zach Slevin, another guy racing the Rowdy Radio class. He's got a friend that lives nearby the track, so we're going to get this thing fixed up. What's wrong with it right now? We pushed water last night, and it also blew a exhaust manifold gasket out, so it won't make much boost. And, gotcha. Yeah. So, so you're basically just trying to limp it there, get it to the shop, and... Yeah, and then we'll pull it apart, see if it needs a new head gasket or not, but kind of just go from there. All right. Well, just thought I'd check on you boys. Yeah, we appreciate it. Good to guys. know it's not something too serious. Nope, we're nope, probably going to die. We're down to our last energy drink. Oh, God, we're, that's terrible. We're dead. <laughs> we're going to die. There's a gas station up the road. I'm sure you can buy more. Yeah, All right. a checkpoint up here, just two or three miles, something like that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it should be. So we'll awesome. see you there. All right, we'll see you guys. See you guys. See you. We are just a few miles down the road, and we found the last and final checkpoint. It's this old school gas station looking thing with the frontier sign right there. You got to take your picture with that. There's currently no racers here. They've either come through or they're not here yet. We might stick around for a few minutes or get back on the road. There's literally nobody here. There are a few people here waiting to see other people though. So some of the locals have camped out all day today on their tailgates over there waiting for racers to come through. They said they've been here all day, watched a couple hundred guys come through and they've had a blast. So you can see on the road, some trailer burnouts were had earlier and the cops apparently shut it down. Perfect. All right. See you guys tomorrow. See you guys. Have a good night. Hopefully we don't see you on the side of the road here in just a little bit. Hopefully. Hopefully. Just like that. You just got to stop, take a picture, and you can be on your way. You don't have to stop and hang out for an hour. You can be on your way. Or you can hang out either way. We're going to go ahead and follow him. I don't know how much longer I'd have to wait for more racers. We're going to go ahead and get back on the road and head back into Kearney. I think we have about 100 more miles to go. So. You're getting a car wash. Red. Free car wash. Late? Yeah, well, sorry, not, not all of us left at 4 o'clock yeah, in the morning, so Corey. <laughs> we have made it to Kearney. There's a lot of racers out here just hanging out in the parking lot. It is after midnight. I'm going to go ahead and walk around, check in with some folks, see how the drive went, and then I'm going to go get some sleep. But I'm going to do that first. Hey, fellas. Hey, how was the drive today? The filters too oh. hot. It was hot. For me. It was nice though. It wasn't bad. Only lost brakes once, so we're, we're all good. Only lost them once. Once, yeah. In the mountains? Just before Estes Park. Just as you're starting to descend into Estes Park, they faded and I got pulled over in time and let them cool. Gotcha. But it was what time did you leave? Because I saw like, I don't know how many hours ago you said you were you had hit the last checkpoint. I was like, how? What time did he leave? What time did you he get was, on the road? He was rolling at 4:50. Four G's. Way early. Well, I bet it was not bad. It's way cooler though in the morning. Yeah, it's way cooler, and you know, I'm, it'd be cool to roll with 1320 and get some good coverage and all that fun <laughs> stuff. But 
the heat of the day, oil pressure being a little bit on the low side. It's oh, like, I, let's get ahead of it. I don't blame you at all. Like yeah. we're 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 in there in like air conditioning with like AC seats and stuff. So yeah, yeah don't wait for us. I mean, we, uh, obviously we're still in the heat of the day for for a long portion of it. Right. But, uh, yeah, it was it wasn't bad because once we got rolling, I, I've had this noise. I think that the motor's doing all week, and finally today it's like, look, it hasn't blown up yet. It's still fine. So I pushed it. We cruised along at 75, and uh, it actually made the car run a little bit cooler today. So, hey, there you go. Anyways, Speed works. Yeah. So we got here a decent time and went swimming. <laughs> well, it's after midnight. Shouldn't you guys be in bed by now? We get to sleep in tomorrow, though. Oh, that's right. We don't have to be at the track till three. Yeah. Stay up all night, guys. I don't know. Cheer no. stories. Any other troubles on the road? Anything else? You pretty, pretty. Good drive? We were all good, just besides it being hot. Pretty much every. Yeah, I didn't know yeah. we didn't have any issues. I think I was sad when I looked at the weather report for tomorrow. <laughs> what does it say now? 104. What's it? Do you know, like in Nebraska, we get this thing called humidity on top of that. So it's oh, yeah. not even like a Colorado 104. It's a, it's going to be bad out there tomorrow. Yeah. So. Yeah, lots of water. Yeah, drink a lot of water tonight to stay hydrated for tomorrow. Yeah. All right, boys, get some cool. sleep. We'll see you in the morning. Right. Or tomorrow afternoon. Yeah. Afternoon, sleep in. Yeah. It's so cool rocking through the, the hotel parking lot during race week because you see all of these cars that you would never, ever see. And you don't see a car trailer in sight. It's freaking awesome. How's it going? Better now that we're here. Yeah? Okay, so <laughs> I've seen some things. So the front of the car looks a little different from when I saw yeah, it. Yeah, we got our Fuel Cooler 3000. That's for fuel? 3.0. Yeah. Your fuel's getting that hot, you had to get a cooler for it. Yeah, it was boiling in the tank. Yeah, you could hear it. We were returning get, so much through the engine compartment that it was just picking up all that heat. Now, I saw you guys pull over, but it wasn't a good spot for us to pull over. So we what was going on there? So many times. Oh, okay. It's, so it's, what, what, yeah. what What happened? What all What all did you guys have to fix today? Well, five minutes, <laughs> five minutes into the trip, we had a muffler delete that was not by choice. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we've been running without half an exhaust system all day. Uh, and then it's just been the fuel system. Yeah. Is I, it just getting I, hot, or is it you're, you're losing pressure? Or what's going on? I think it's a couple different issues sort of overlapping. It's mostly the heat, but we also had the pump running at too high of a pressure right. because of what we were trying to solve, and I, I think the pumps were getting tired. Gotcha. But the good thing is when we screwed around with the regulator, our pressures came down. Yeah. And then we made it the rest of the way. Yeah, we basically so. blew apart the regulator, put it back together, set the pressure, and it's been fine ever since. Well, good. Okay. Yeah. What time did what time did you guys get on the road this morning? Eight o'clock. Yep. So you guys, it's been like a 15-hour day for you guys right now. Yeah. That's yeah. rough. The mountain, the mountain part was beautiful though. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sure it was. Was yeah, the, you guys did. have problems in the mountains or no, was that's it? That's what I mean. We cruised we had right problems through it. before the mountain, which we we fiddled with our cooler and then it was fine all through the mountains. Yep. Then when we got back down when it was really hot uh -huh. and that traffic, then it started basically vapor locking or boiling. Gotcha. Uh, you know, fuel in the tank. So we went and ate lunch at Buffalo Wild Wings and went to Lowe's and yeah, put a sprayer on our cooler. So yep. we have a cooler with a sprayer and got us here. Awesome. Well, I'm glad to see you guys made it. Uh, you only got two more race days. Two more. One, one more drive. And then, then you guys can officially say you've done yeah. you've done race week. Well, we're still completed. trying. We're trying for that 10 second average. Yeah, are you guys still at that? You... Well, we originally wanted a 10 second pass at every track, but right. we only managed an 11:20 at Bandemir. But you can still get the average of a second. Right. Get the average. There you go. Really That's close. the new. So there you that's go. That's our new, new goal. goal. Okay. Yep. Well, glad to see you guys made it. Uh, go get some sleep. All right. You don't got to be at the track till three, so yeah, go get some sleep. All right? all right. Thanks. See you guys. All right, guys, 14 hours and 460 miles later, we have made it to Kearney. We are going to get some sleep. We have a long day tomorrow. It's going to be hot, like 105, 106, something like that, with humidity on top of that. So we're going to get some sleep. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, no shit. We'll see you tomorrow.